has this been going for six episodes? Do you want to build a pentagonal dodecahedron? It doesn't have to be a pentagonal dodecahedron. Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and was diagnosed with mesothelioma. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, You might be entitled to a financial compensation if he or a loved one dies. TIL that a cat once co-authored a physics paper. In 1975, a physicist had just finished writing a paper and was ready to publish but realized he had used we instead of I throughout. Despite being the sole author, not wanting to edit the paper, he listed his cat Chester as a co-author. This is the cat, by the way. I trust him. A wise man. Found suspicious. You think human is so stupid to give credit if not do work? What I think scientist was mere scribe who stole cat research back when cat not allowed to write. I mean, meow. I'm not too fond of snakes, but I can't seem to take the blunt head tree snake seriously. Don't smoke weed, kids. Ugh, it's like a noodle with a weird meatball. The more I look at the snake. <laughs> Enchanted 2007, Entangled 2010. Well played, Disney. Well played. You know, at first glance, I thought this was a herd of wild Doritos. R.I.P. to my ding ding. He arrived in the mail yesterday, and I left him in my car. The heat today ended his life before his time. Please have a moment of silence for this poor ding ding. If you leave me now, you take away a bit of me. <laughs> well, ding ding. <laughs> Gushers. Sandwich with fruit by the foot as bread. This is it. This is what I became an adult for. To be able to go down to the grocery store, buy a box of fruit by the foot and a box of gushers and make this and not have anyone tell me I can't. You know, except my doctor who says I might go into a diabetic coma. Holy fuck! The entire game has changed! You see these fuckers right here? The store-bought cookies that no other cookie ever tastes like and probably are made with secret godlike addictive ingredients? You can make these fuckers at home! They're called Loft House Cookies. And Google them and feel joy! I hope the homemade ones are way better, because I was never a fan of these. Things I will forever be upset about. One, I don't know what my Patronus is. Two, I don't know what a Mortentia smells like to me. Three, I don't know what I'd see in the mirror of air set. Four, I don't know what my bogger would be. Five, I don't know for sure what house I would be in. And six, I don't know the specifications of my wand. And that Harry Potter mobile game just did not capture the magic. A six-year-old once asked me what adulthood is like, you know, aside from the group by the gusher sandwich thing. You can eat ice cream for dinner every night if you want, I told him. His face lit up. But you have to buy it yourself. I've never seen someone go from delighted to devastated as quickly as that little boy. This is the most accurate description of adulthood I've ever heard. So. How do you feel about the redesign of the Disney princesses? Okay, let's just go from left to the right. Snow White doesn't look too bad, other than the glitter, which makes her look like she rolled around in someone's craft project. Mulan looks nothing like the badass bitch we know and love. Honestly, I don't really care what happens to Aurora. Belle is looking rather coquettish for a movie about looking past appearances and falling in love with someone for their personality. <laughs> Tiana, flawless. I wish they would cut off Rapunzel's fucking hair because that was the entire premise of the movie. Ariel, I'm so sorry they made you look like a soccer mom. I don't, I don't even know what happened to you. Still cannot believe they changed Cinderella's dress so much and yet they can't get rid of that goddamn ugly ass choker. Jasmine, psst. 
Everyone knows gold hoops are Regina George's thing. For real. And don't even get me started on what they did to my baby Pocahontas, because that will take all fucking day! They want to be Shrek and Fiona so bad. Well, I'm never going to unsee this, so I might as well inflict it on many other people as I can. It's weird how bra commercials are more aimed towards straight male audiences more than the audience that's actually gonna buy a fucking bra. If it were aimed towards women, it would be like, This bra is comfy as shit! You won't want to take it off! Look at the hired male actress swooning over that hired actress. Sold! No, wait, 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 I got one better. <clears throat> this bra will make you feel like Chris Evans is personally holding your breast 24-7. Look, this shit comes in like 78 different colors to match your skin, tone, or your clothing, or whatever the hell you want. You got options. No lace, we can do no lace, that shit itches. You want polka dots? Fuck yeah, polka dots. Look, each cup has pockets in it. Fucking hell, pockets in your bra. Come the fuck down, world. Let me take this all in. Machine washable, fuck yeah, throw this shit in your washer. It's not gonna tangle, it's made with Asgardian Bill just snap tail hair, and it's indestructible. This bra is gonna beep if it detects cancer in your boobs. That shit ain't right. So check your boobs, people. Fuck yeah. This bra is amazing. Science! You had me at this bra will make you feel like Chris Evans is personally holding your breast 24-7.